So I don't know what it is about them all, whether it's the, the mountains, the rivers, the stunning coastline, but it just draws people back. If you've been once, I think it's difficult to leave it at that. And for me, it's an irresistible draw, quite an addiction really. I'd say it's all about the best that Scotland can offer. Uh, just absolutely super. So, when it comes to the Isle of Mull, where do I start? It's such an enchanting place. Uh, for a beautiful place with hundreds of miles of coastline, rivers and burns, tumbling from soaring mountains and there's locks and lockens all over the rugged landscape. It's incredible really how few anglers seem to find their way here. Not that the fishing is always easy. If you want fish, go to a commercial rainbow stock pond or if you're a coarse angler, go to a carp puddle uh, because uh, there's nothing particularly easy about it. Uh, but if you prefer wild, tough and challenging um, and that's your bag, you want to come here and give it a try. Uh, Last time I came was a couple of weeks ago in August and I must admit I had a bit of a tough time. Um, river levels weren't too bad but we could have done with a couple of floods. Uh, I got a flood right at the end of the holiday but it's a little bit too late. Uh, so I had a bit of a struggle to get a few small sea trout and a uh, little brown trout. Uh, no salmon. Um, which it's still okay it's such a it's such a fantastic place that really you're not too bothered about catching and um, you can give yourself a pat on the back if you can catch these difficult fish uh, I found uh, estuary fishing this time um, which is uh, like an art in itself really fishing for sea trout in estuaries the sea trout all around the coast uh, obviously some places are better than others um, but I like the estuaries because it sort of narrows it down a bit an estuary is possible to, to search, whereas the open sea just is uh, absolutely daunting. Migratory fish, that's salmon and sea trout, will run the rivers from the end of June onwards, given water. And uh, for the coastal sea trout fishing, I'm told that the best time is earlier in the spring, uh, before they start uh, going on the fast prior to running up the rivers. They feed openly in the sea in the early spring and you can get some exhilarating sport if you can find the, the feeding fish. A friend of mine goes up uh, regularly every summer and he gets a few. He stays for two weeks and he gets a little purple patch inevitably at some stage during his holiday uh, where he has some enthralling sport with the sea trout on fly tackle in the, in, on the open coast. But uh, that's a bit of a secret place. You've got to find one yourself really. One thing about fishing coastal waters for sea trout, uh, you do need permission from the, um, the landowner, uh, well, fishery owner I should say, whoever has the fishing rights. Not always easy to find out. Uh, a lot of places on Mull you can get tickets from the, uh, the tackle and books, so I'll, I'll go into that later. Um, but sometimes you have to make a few inquiries locally as to who owns the fishing rights. Uh, I had no trouble getting on three separate uh, estuaries and coastal strips. Uh, I didn't have to pay for a permit, I just uh, asked and was given permission. So often it's just a question of politeness, so I'll, uh, I'll pay you back. Maybe in such circumstances it's perhaps uh, as well to point out that you're fishing catch and release as well. There's also a pollock in the sea on fly. Um, I failed miserably. I thought I'd found a good deep spot with some pollock, but it wasn't to be. Um, having said that, I didn't try very long. I only had a couple of hours, so that's uh, worthy of uh, further exploration. We've also got trout freshwater locks, which again, we'll go into in a bit more detail. Um, perhaps the best place for advice, much better than I can give you, is to go to the the main fishing shop on the island, in fact the only <laughs> fishing tackle shop on the island which is Tackle and Books in Tobermory, uh, the capital if you will, um, and they will uh, give you a good rundown of what, uh, what you can, where you can fish, where you can't, what the permits, how much the permits cost and lots of different uh, technique tips. Um, a word about the roads, if you're not used to um, driving in the highlands and islands you'll find 
um, 99% of the roads are single track. There's a bit of standard road on between Craig Newer, where the main ferry port is, and uh, Tobermory, the sort of island's capital. And other than that, it's all single track roads. You've got pulling places every maybe 100 metres. So you've got to be very polite and courteous with other drivers. Try and give way where you can. Pull in, let somebody pass. Also, if somebody's sort of driving behind you and obviously wants to get past, the etiquette is to pull into the next uh, passing place on your left and let them pass. So what rivers do we have? Of the sort of main rivers that have runs of salmon, we've got the Collier d'Oire, we've got the Bellart, we've got the Lusser, the Forsar, the and the Aros. Um, now there are smaller burns which sometimes have runs of salmon but in the main that's that's the sort of rivers you'll be fishing. Uh, the burns can provide very good sport when there's water um, but otherwise it's sort of uh, small brownies that will steal your worms or uh, snatch at your fly. Uh, for the most part those are the, the main rivers and we'll go into the permits. Uh, not very expensive, um, you can get permits for the Bellart the upper stretch of the Arros, the Bar Estuary, the Collidoir, uh, and the locks, some of the trout locks like uh, Freesa, Tor and Mishnish, and a chain of locks in the south of the island known as the Glen Locks. All of these have uh, good stocks of uh, native brown trout, and a few of them have runs of sea trout and salmon as well. Um, tackle! For fly fishing, my standard go-to is an 11 foot 6 weight fly rod with a sink tip line, um, a leader down to 7 pounds which can vary in length from 10 to 15 feet depending on the conditions, two small flies and if I'm in the salt water and it's quite rough I might put a, a big streamer lure on it, up to 3 inch long streamer lure. Uh, when it's calmer and I'm in an estuary or on a river properly maybe down to a little wee double on the point and something bushy like a black um, sort of uh, blue Zulu or um, black bumble or something like that something big and buzzy on the, the dropper also a fly rod for worming is ideal uh, same 11 footer works well with a fixed spool reel mounted with 30 pound braid Maybe a 12, 10 to 12 pound hook length and a size 8 or 6 hook, which can be, can be a bit smaller if the conditions are tricky. And um, barbless if possible. Strike quickly when you do get a tap on the worm. Um, better to lose a fish than have them swallow the hook. Uh, things other, to, other than fishing to do, we've got wildlife tours, we've got pony trekking, lots of castles, for, forestry trails to walk, obviously a lot of hill walking, and quite a few pristine sandy beaches uh, if you have a good look round and study the map. Uh, but there are some nice places to visit elsewhere where you can get a lovely cup of coffee and a, a nice cake. Uh, Loch Bewey um, stands out amongst those, and also a nice little cafe. Perhaps my wife's favourite, I think, at Salon, halfway along the island. OK, I hope you enjoy your, uh, your visit to the island and tight lines. Oh, don't forget your midge repellent. Um, Avon skin so soft is pretty effective, but you might need gallons of it, if, uh, especially if it's humid. OK, <laughs> bye. Oh, almost forgot uh, spinning. I don't do much of it myself, I prefer to fish the fly and the worm, but uh, I think 15 gram tobies in silver to imitate sand eels and maybe golden black to imitate um, pollock fry or pollock, small pollock, uh, a pretty well go to in the sea and maybe a range of meps for the rivers, it's pretty well all you need. Okay, tight lines. And we've got another wild and windy lock. This is Lock Tor on the northern part of the island. Uh, this is the burn that drains this lock, goes down to the sea, and apparently there's quite a good run of sea trout up the burn. So this lock not only holds wild brown trout, uh, but at the back end, there's a good chance of a sea trout, so a run of sea trout. I think way over there in the corner, as a burn comes in, 
burn, I presume that's the, the spawning burn. Lovely spot. Um, and on top of those crags, there's a good chance of seeing a golden eagle. I think I did once, but uh, I don't think anybody believes me. <laughs> okay. Strictly speaking, I suppose the reservoirs rather than locks, but very, very scenic, pleasant place. Quite uh, raw and windy today, and we've even got sort of lily pads there. This is stocks and wild brown trout, some of which grow to quite a good size apparently. And it's day ticket from the Tobo Mori Angling Association. Tackleland Books, which is the, the fishing hub of the island. If you want any tackle, permits, uh, general advice, and of course books, this is the place to come. Tobo Mori Harbour on quite a busy day, as usual. 